Dun, 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 dun. Hey everybody. Back again. Lucy's in her elevated bed. She's a little more awake today. She's not a total zombie. Maybe because she's hungry. Got a, still got enough teeth left in there, Lucy, to eat, to chew on that. Lucy lost one of her teeth a few years ago. There was a... Uh, anyways, long story, I'll tell it later. I'm getting already talking about Lucy, Lucy this, Lucy that. But today we're going to drink the 2019 Yunnan Sourcing Ba Wang, uh, which is a ripe cake, a blend of several different teas um, for something strong, full-bodied, and delicious, which I think, I have to say, I succeeded. So on this one, at least I, I really like it. And so far, um, the feedback we've been getting has been really excellent on this tea. Um, ba Wang basically means like, like badass king or something like that. Um, it's kind of a classic title for, um, for poor. Remember the first time I came across it was uh, Haiwan sold, um, I don't know if they still do, but they had sold like three kilo, um, three kilo uh, cakes in these boxes called Ba Wang, which I thought was pretty cool. And there's also a Chen Shen Hao Ba Wang. It's pretty common. You'll come across that. It's it's kind of a, and I think in my description, I call it a neoclassical um, poor, you know, name for tea, for, for poors. But um, anyway, so this is a blend of tea, um, mostly newer tea, but I think, I'm trying to remember exactly. Um, I think there's one tea in here that's a couple of years old, but it's still a pretty new tea. And as such, it's gonna have some wet pile taste. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. That'll fade pretty fast, you know, with, uh, with a couple of years. Um, let me go ahead and just do a wash here. Gotta re-up Lucy, cause she's such a good girl. Oh uh, yeah, you can see she's drooling here. Mm. Just wipe that right on your bed there. Oh, and here's a dog hair. Such are the perils. Let's go ahead and get this, hit this up again. I'm just gonna use a guy wand. Um, it's kind of like falling over here, but I think it'll probably stay up. Maybe put that right under there. There we go. Use this wash, wash. Make sure I don't over steep here. All right, that's going to be the first steeping that we drink. Now, this being a blend, this is one that I blended. I don't even know. I probably went through probably 10 sessions or so to get this blend kind of the way that I liked it. Um, as I was talking about in the Hushie video, which is, um, I was talking a bit about blending. Oh, wow. A lot going on there, very strong smell. A little bit of a wet pile smell still. This is, you know, again, this is a 2019 um, pressing of tea from, I want to say 2017 and 2018. Hi, Lucy. Oh, she's drooling a lot. She must be really hungry. She woke up really early, so she's getting, she gets kind of hungry around this time of day. I have to feed her dinner at about 2.30. If I wait longer than that, she gets really upset and pushy. Lucy? We taught her this when she was a puppy. Lucy? What do you think? You're soaking your little bed with drool. Oh my gosh. She's drooling so much. She must be really hungry. Mm. Let's 
Keep going here. We're going to get this brewed out into the cups. They're still going to be too hot. Um, but we really went full bore with the ripe tea this uh, year, 2019. Um, investing a bit more and getting some um, some different... Oh, gosh. Excuse me. Investing a little bit more uh, in ripe teas, getting more ripe teas. Um, um, you know, because we do testing on them, they've got to pass the EU MRL for at least the 191 pesticides we test for. Um, and that did, we did pretty good this year. I think there were a couple that we had to reject, um, but most of them, most of them came back pretty clean. So that's been a really good, good thing. So, you know, we invest that time and, and money into the tea and then we end up getting nothing. Um, that can definitely make things tricky, but I don't really... Ripe teas, I'm usually able to purchase those um, after we've done a test. Most people, because they've done in larger batches, they're not just like sold out immediately. Um, so that's that's good. I can just decide not to buy it in that case. Well, hello. You're very awake and aware today. Mostly because you're hungry, right? She loves to go out and just lie on the dirt. In the summer, which just seems to last forever here, we keep the house at 79 degrees or 80 degrees. And I think it's like, sometimes it's like too cold for her because she'll just go and lie in the dead grass and in the sun when it's 100 degrees and just lie there for a while. And then she'll come inside. I think she likes the, the alternating hot and cold. Sometimes I'm thinking to myself, gosh, is she going to be able to make it back inside before she dies of heat exhaustion? I mean, she comes in, she's breathing heavy. I don't know. Maybe all dogs are like this. I don't know. Sometimes I see some of these. There's some college, There's a university in the town here. And I see these university students with... Huskies, you know, they get, I think Huskies, I don't, I guess because they look cuddly and they're cute. Um, I think to myself, gosh, that's kind of cruel to have a Husky in Texas. I mean, I get it if you moved here, if you are, you know, if you got to move here for work or whatever, you already have a dog, but man, I can't even imagine being a Husky <laughs> in Texas. It would be, that would be rough. No pun intended. All right, so we're still waiting here. This is just how the cookie crumbles, as it were. Um, 143, 144, wow, still really hot. I'm gonna go ahead and smell this. What do you think? She's like, nope, not a cookie. Uh, she's hungry and can tell she just like she's like ah. when she was a puppy she used to bite she used to kind of when we'd feed her treats she would just she I don't know she didn't have good bite control and she had sharp little teeth before she changed before her teeth um, her adult teeth came in I still remember the first time her her baby teeth came out and I didn't know anything about dogs I was playing with her playing with a toy and I like pulling she like pulling the toy back and forth and I pull the toy out and this tooth goes bouncing along the the wood floor and I thought oh shit I pulled her tooth out but it was just her baby teeth right Lucy and gosh those baby teeth were sharp oh yeah this is the first tea of the day too, so this is just gonna be so nice. Ripe is really kind of like my go-to first tea of the day. Not always, but it's probably the most popular first tea of the day for me. Nice, fruity, chocolatey. That's kind of what I'm getting here. 
Um, the other tea, this reminds me a little bit of the Laomanga ripe tea that we pressed also in 2019. Um, and that's an amazing tea, more expensive than this one. Um, but I think well worth it, even at $52 for 200 grams, that one. This one I think is 30, I wanna say 36 or 38 for 250 grams. So it's not cheap, um, but it's not hyper expensive either. I think given the quality. Mm, nice bitterness too. I think it's that like dark chocolate. I'm just gonna go rapid fire with these. Mm. Yeah, really stable. It's just really thick, fruity. Um, there's pungent, bitter. I want to say astringent. There is some astringency in it for a ripe. It's got a fair amount of astringency, um, but not much. Mostly it's bitterness is, is what I'm getting. Keep going here before these cool down. Very nice. I will say this tea still has a fair amount of wet pile taste. So, um, you know, if you're not into aging teas, then, you know, if you're not into aging teas and you're super sensitive to wet pile taste, this might not be a tea for you. Um, if you're not that sensitive to wet pile taste, it's not overwhelming at all. And it, and it will fade as I've been trying, relentlessly trying to educate people that um, wet pile taste is not an indication of poor quality tea. As I've noticed, I've come across a couple of vendors, I'm not gonna say who, who, you know, say on their sites that wet pile taste in a ripe tea is a sign of a, of a poor quality ripe tea, and that's just not the case. If you've ever tasted tea that's freshly wet piled, it has wet pile taste. Now, if after like five, 10 years, it still has a real strong, I think people confuse wet pile taste and like a fishy kind of funky, um, kind of like moldy taste, which I've, which can happen if things are poorly wet piled, but usually it happens because of poor storage. Mm. Nice. This one's gonna be strong. What do you say, Lucy? Should we reboil the water? Hmm? She's like, give me a cookie. Stop talking so much. Blah, 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 blah. Lucy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. All right. Mm. And this is definitely a tea, I like to push it a little bit. Like I pushed it a little bit on this one. Granted, this was the six um, steeping, but it's still really dark and thick. And it's really nice because of that. Nice thing too, I'm really feeling the chachi. It's really just really like, it's this kind of like, you know, you know, no, I'm just kidding. But it's, it's definitely like a chest, chest kind of, you know, chachi. It's very nice. It's not heady at all. It's not like, you know, um, like Yangsheng can be a little bit heady. Um, I don't know if heady is the right word, but. All right. Let's put this over here. I don't want to block the view of was I just blocking your view? Oh my gosh. I'm such a bad person. Oh yeah. Lean into it. Lean into it. It's still drooling, huh? Still drooling? What is going on? No, oh, that's drool. She's been having some kind of weird sinus issue. I think allergies. She's like, all that and no treat. All right, let's get some water in here. So I've got a bunch of these here. Might as well pull them out. And uh, kind of disc 
discuss the meat since they're well. We don't. I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the um, ebullient and the. What's the other one? Dizzy here. But yeah, so these are the um, the ripe teas. Let's see. Let's try this. Mmm. Nice. It's like lychee and chocolate and honey wa and water. It's really it's very thick. So, red cakes, 2019. Buddy. Um, Five dollars goes to Central Tex Texas refugees for every cake. Inexpensive, but this is actually a really good tea with almost no real wet pal taste because it's pressed from a tea that's several years old. Um, let's leave those for the last laugh. Um, this is kind of like a larger blend, um, six or seven different kinds of tea. Um, and then of course, La Mana, which um, is kind of like more similar to this tea here, kind of closer, strong, thick, a little bit of bitterness. Um, I'd say uh, here's the uh, Year of the Pig Blue Label, which is a very nice tea. This is probably a more, I'd say like a more balanced tea. It's not super aggressive, but it's very nice. It's got a very nice chachi, really balanced mouthfeel. Not much wet pile taste at all. Um, and then we've got the, I guess you could kind of put La Mama with this group because this is like the Mong Hai, um, kind of like, I guess you could say single mountain style ripes. This is Bada, Bada Mountain, which is west of Mong Hai. We've got Hook Hai, which is kind of south and south near Bulang, kind of the northern northern part of Bulang, Hook Hai. Not the northern part of Bulang, but north of Bulang, Hook Hai. Very nice tea. This is the pricey, this is the pricier one um, of the four. Um, excellent, really like, it's got a really interesting floral character to it. Let's go ahead and do this here. That's steep number eight. Wow, still nice and dark. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this up again. Lucy is getting hungry, 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 aren't you? You're just covered in drool. I don't know if you can see all the beads of her drool. It's pretty amazing. Um, Mong Song, very nice tea. Um, and of course, Bulong. So a lot of people ask if we're gonna make a Hui Run this year. Probably not. Um, if you wanna get something, pick up the, the, the Bulong here. It's a really nice tea, very, very kind of classic Bulong Rec. Um, and then last but not least, this is the Year of the Pig Red Label. And this is actually a Cha to and a kind of semi-aged tea that we had uh, stock on blended together and it's super smooth. It's ultra smooth um, But not of course not at the expense of being boring. It's very full-bodied and tasty I would like to do a video on this one too soon just because I really really like it This is also pretty affordable too. So this is kind of I would say definitely a bargain um, cake in terms of uh, in terms of price. This is 357 grams. So all of the other ones are 257 uh, 200 <laughs> 250 grams, except for this La Mana, um, which is 200 grams. The Ba Wang, which we're drinking now, is 250 grams. So, mm. now we're just kind of the the bitter chocolatey notes have pretty much gone away, and now it's more of like a sweet fruity tea. Um, still nice dark tea soup. We have a very upset little dog over here who's very hungry. It's like I'm torturing you. Is that how it feels? Uh, I remember once when we were living in Oregon and I used to get chill blends, so I'd get kind of like, you know, I don't know how to describe chill blends, but basically kind of a semi like frostbite in my hands. I used to try to feed Lucy treats. And when it was really cold, she was really amped up. She would take the treat, but she'd kind of bite my, bite the ends of my fingers a little bit. And 
I don't think she was trying to. She just was excited. And of course her front, you know, the do a dog's front teeth are super sharp. So it used to cause, cause that just a huge amount of pain. I mean, I was already in a lot of pain from that. And then she's nipping on the, on, on them in there. Ugh. I do not miss that. Very nice. I think we're gonna probably cut it off here. This is a tea um, that I would say is really solid. Even with, I mean, you've seen that I've pushed it here. I'm not like doing 10 second, 15 second um, brew, uh, steeps here. So um, still real nice dark tea soup. Um, that's steep number nine here. Um, so this is definitely one that I think is, um, you know, definitely infusible, even though I think that's not technically a word. Um, it's, it's a very nice ripe tea, very full bodied. Um, if you're a fan of um, Bulang ripe teas, you would probably like this. Um, if you've tried the Lao Ma uh, or Hui Ren, and you like those, you probably like this as well. Um, the Hukai, which I've mentioned here, I'd like to do a video on. This is a really, really unique tea, uh, especially for us, because we've never um, been able to offer a Hukai ripe tea before, and I think this is an, that's an excellent example of one. So um, let's try this last cup here. Mm. Velvety, smooth. Fruity, sweet. Good stuff. Let's get let's see one more treat. Poor girl. She's so deprived. She's so deprived. Anyways, hope you've been enjoying the Lucy on her bed for it video series. Um, yeah. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe or unsubscribe. You can do whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, Bao Wang will link down below. 2019 uh, Yunnan Sourcing Bao Wang. Um, ripe tea. Check it out. Good stuff. Thanks for watching.